What's good, everybody? It's your boy, I'm finna say cash tag GAINS. Before I start this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram, Rob Finis, follow my band, Divided Mention on Spotify. Everything you need to know will be in the description box. Hello. Give the video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and it doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny. Yeah. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. This is Sarah Raynock. You can follow her on Instagram and YouTube at S A R A R E J N O K. Today's video is a little bit something different from us. Um, we are going to be reacting to a clip from the Joe Rogan podcast where he talks about Chris Como doing the 100 pound dumbbell shoulder press. Now, a bunch of people are talking about this, and I really wanted to talk about it because it's relative to, um, you know, to what, what I do on a daily basis, which is lift weights. And I can't even, I, first of all, I can't even believe that anyone would think, I actually think a brain dead person would think that this is fake. And I don't know much about Joe Rogan. I know he's extremely popular, but how the fuck can anybody think this shit's real? I've already seen the clip and it's just like, how stupid could you be to believe that that's real weight? Like seriously, like what are your thoughts? It's bullshit. Like. I, I I know this video. He justifies it, and he tries to like t saying why he thinks it's real. But I just can't believe anybody would think a hundred pounds would move like it does in this video. It's just insanity. But we're gonna watch it, and we're gonna react to it. So I can't I can't believe we even have to. I can't believe we're even making this video. Like I can't even believe he even said it. Like it's so it's so fucking. It blows my mind. Like that's the only thing I could think of. I literally think a brain dead person would think that this is fake. That's how stupid it sounds. And the fact that Joe Rogan said it really makes me question his fucking intelligence. I'm just being honest. I'm just being straight honest. I don't have anything against them. I mean, probably the Joe Rogan fucking people are gonna jump on this video and dislike it and all this other shit because I said bad things about him. I don't know shit about Joe. I don't know shit about his podcast. I don't know shit about what he does other than he talks a lot and he's got like 10 million subscribers. But how can you be this fucking stupid? That's all I got to say. That's how, how can how can you be that stupid? All right. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I do a lot of shit on this channel. I usually review shit, but today I am talking about Joe Rogan just because of this situation. So let's go ahead and start the video. Pretending to leave his basement. I'm There's pretty sure he had corona. Well, he said he cured it by chest exercise. I mean, I don't buy that. Yeah. But here's another one. There's a picture of him sitting at his desk holding a 100-pound dumbbell up in the air, and bodybuilders are calling bullshit. Oh, interesting. I didn't All, see that. Also because of the angle that he's holding. Okay, so he says there's a picture of him holding the dumbbell like this. First of all, no no human can hold 100-pound dumbbells like this and weigh 100 and fucking 80 pounds like Chris Cuomo. It's physically impossible. You'd have to brace yourself if you're sitting in a fucking chair. Am I right? If you're sitting in a fucking desk chair holding a 100-pound dumbbell like this, you would have an insane fucking core. You'd have to have an insanity yeah. strong core it's not to brace impossible. yourself. It's not impossible. We're not. But come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. Right? No. Yeah. I mean, seriously. You would have to be bracing yourself like insanity. Not just like, mm-hmm, -hmm, I'm holding 10 pounds. You know, fucking ridiculous. Let's get back to the video. Now, yeah, Chris Cuomo is, <clears throat> look, I'm Italian, I could say this, he's a guinea. Right. A lot of those guineas are stupid strong. They're, they're monkey strong. I bet he is. He's a fucking guinea. That's it. Fuck it. Are you Italian? You're not Italian. No. Hey, if I was born Italian, you don't even have to go to the fucking gym. You just, you show up, 100 pound no, dumbbell, no, 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 no. like you this. You have to be a guinea, all you, right? You have to be a guinea. And if you're a guinea, you're allowed to say that... You know, you're a guinea, so yeah, they're stupid strong. So, so basically, you if you're- You can be if, stupid strong, whatever you are. Motherfucking Russians are st stupid strong. <laughs> what, so, what guinea shit? So, so let me get this Fuck. straight. Let me get this straight. If you're born a guinea, you just walk into the gym. First fucking day, 100 pound dumbbell like this. Fucking just straight up. <laughs> fucking just holding it. I'm a fucking guinea. I can do this, 100 pounds. No, no he deal. was saying no that deal. he- He's Nobody a guinea, deal. so he can say what he's about to say. I, I, know you're, I know what he's saying, but it's fucking stupid and asinine. He's saying that basically if you're Italian, you're stupid strong because most Italians are stupid strong. No, it's a stupid he's a statement. guinea, so he's, a, he's allowed to say It's that. a stupid statement, though. Nobody is stupid strong by not doing anything. You get stupid strong by practicing strength. I mean, and going there, to the gym. there is 
there is like, you know, not, not freaks. There's a different, I want to say a different word, but there are people that do have super strength. I'm not dislike disregarding that, but, but it comes. this is, this is not stupid strong. It doesn't come from a fucking CNN reporter. Oh wait, but that, you know that doesn't saying? exist anymore. <laughs> it, it's, let's get back to the fucking video. There, there are a lot of them. Yeah. Listen, and I, there also was a very guy, smart. There was I'm a kidding. guy that used to run a sandwich shop yeah. near our house who could curl his own body weight 10 times. Jeez. And he nobody believed him, and this guy barely lifted weights. <laughs> what the fuck does a guy in a sandwich shop have to do anything with Chris Kumo? <laughs> well, because he's saying he knew a guy that curled his own weight 10 times. So fucking what? <laughs> You don't know if that guy went to the gym fucking every single day that worked at this sandwich shop. You don't know that. It's, it's, but he knew a guy at just, a sandwich shop. It's not even a relevant fucking thing. It's not even a relevant thing. It's relevant because he knew a guy at a, at a sandwich shop. Done it, deal. I think even the... Done uh, deal. I think, honestly, the other guy even knows that, that Joe Rogan is literally full of shit right now. Oh yeah, 100%. He's like he's like he's, he's trying to chime in. Yeah, he's like uh, and Joe Rogan cuts him off. <laughs> pretty much. Let, let's let's see what else he has to say here. And he did it before a wrestling meet. He was like a big time wrestler in Newton South. Yeah. And he wound up losing the wrestling meet. It was like legend in the town because his arms were blown out because wow. he made like a hundred bucks on showing a bet people. showing people that he <laughs> curl his body weight 10 times. Uh, I don't know if he was trying Frank to be serious subs. with this. This is Okay, so yeah, a wrestler that can curl him curl his weight ten times. Okay, big deal. This is this is a fucking CNN reporter holding a hundred pound dumbbell like this in his fucking desk chair. And not only that, it's not even the shoulder pressing; it's the curling. He's curling it like this effortlessly. It's the We're, whole entire thing. Yeah, it's well, even the shoulder press. It's the shoulder press for sure too, but we haven't even seen the footage yet. I've seen it one time and I was just like, this is fucking, this is ridiculous. So let, let's see what else he has to say here. <coughs> no, he's, he's fucking serious, bro. Okay. This is where we get our news in America. No, is there's a photo and he's wearing a t-shirt. This is different. That's real. That's a real weight. Whether or not that weighs 100 pounds, it might weigh 100 pounds. <laughs> are you fucking serious, Joe Rogan? Joe, are you fucking serious? He says, that's real weight. Whether it weighs 100 pounds... I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Makes sense, right? Of course the weight is real, but is it 100 pounds real? No! It's real weight. It, it weighs something. Probably 5 pounds to 10 pounds. But he said, he said, that's real weight. That's real weight. Whether or not it's 100 pounds. <laughs> Whether or not it's 100 pounds. But you know, bodybuilders are calling it bullshit. Of course we're calling it bullshit. That fucking is a disgrace to us that lift every single day and know how hard a 100-pound dumbbell is to press it, Ooh. shoulder press. Not only that, but to fucking curl it? You can't curl a 100-pound dumbbells as a fucking hammer curl in a goddamn desk chair just like this effortlessly. In fucking possible. I don't believe that he has a fake 100-pound weight. He's a big person. I think... Okay, so he says... I don't believe that is a fake 100-pound weight. Didn't you just say two seconds before that that you thought it was real and that it, it might not weigh 100 pounds? So now you're saying you don't think it is fake. But he's a big person. But so he's a big person. it has to be real. It has to be real. Okay. I can't even believe we're making this video. It's so asinine. It's fucking... It blows my mind. Let, let's see what else he has to say. Let's see what else he has to say. That guy's he's pretty strong, large. Dude. I'm sure he's not. I'm sure the weight isn't fake. Oh, that's, the that's the picture. Here's the thing. I I saw these people that are complaining and saying it's not real and all this shit. I, listen, you can do that. Of course you can do that. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's possible to shoulder press and curl heavy weights. But to do it in that format, it's not possible. With no See, bracing, with improper technique, not possible. Exactly. He's making it seem like nobody can do this. And that's why it's impossible. No, that's not why it's impossible. It's how he's executing that weight. You can tell that it's not real, not even close to 100. I'm talking that motherfucking weight is probably 10 
to 15 pounds. I would put my fucking life on it. But hey, a hundred pound, like a fake hundred pound dumbbell doesn't exist. It's even got his name on it. It's not even a real fucking dumbbell. You can tell. It's not like some fucking known brand dumbbell. It's literally got his name Como and then a hundred on it. Literally, you can make that fucking... Oh my god. What no, is... it's probably it's probably a catchphrase, you know, like my hundred percent. He just put it on a dumbbell. Oh my god. That's I, probably what it is. I can't believe Joe Rogan is saying this shit, guys. And it's How like... stupid can you be? I'm not even a I not hating on Joe Rogan. I'm just saying how stupid can you be? People that don't lift weights will know that this is fake. A brain dead motherfucker will know this is fake. I don't fake. know about a brain dead person. But like, literally. People that are complaining have the right to complain. Of it's, course, bodybuilder. It's real. Because it's a mockery of fitness. This, it, it's, it's like those Instagram hoes. <clears throat> it's a mockery of fitness. You're pretty, pretty much making Bullshit. a mockery of fitness. What else does he have to say? I can't believe I'm losing brain cells watching this shit. And I thought I lost brain cells watching my own fucking videos. Let's keep going. I like your. Let's keep going. That can be done. People who think you can't do that are crazy. He's right. bigger than me. Look, he's bigger than me, and there's a... He's bigger than me. He's bigger. Really? He's bigger than me, that's why. I mean, there are people bigger than me, but I can lift more than them. It, that, that, like, what? <laughs> it's not even relevant. Small people can lift heavy weights, too. Exactly. It's how you train, not how you look. Prime example, Max Tuning can deadlift over 600 pounds and his fucking legs are this fucking thick. He's strong as fuck deadlifting. He can squat fucking 425 pounds and he's literally like 150 pounds, 160 pounds. But he's a bigger than him. Exactly. I'm fucking way bigger than so him. So why can't you deadlift? I don't know. Oh, wait, you don't Apparently know. to him, he I should be able to do it because I'm bigger, right? That's the thing. I can dumbbell. I can shoulder dumbbell press 100 pound dumbbells for 10 reps. I do it all the time on my Instagram. It's heavy shit. You can't do it this effortlessly. Video of me on Instagram with a 92 pound kettlebell and I'm cleaning it and pressing it 10 times over my head. Right. He's bigger. That guy's a lot bigger than me. Right. He could hold a hundred pounds over his head and right. do it like that. Right. Like if I have a hundred pound dumbbell in my in my ch my arm right now, I could press it. He's bigger than me. He could do yeah. it. Some people are fucking strong. Yeah, I don't have any problem with doing that. It's when he does. Look the at this news. challenge That's to Chris funny. Cuomo. Proves you're not a liar. Prove you can actually lift that weight you're shown with. See, this guy just wants attention because you should know that there's people that are freak strong that could lift that. Okay, so the, this really fucking upsets me because he said he can do it. Joe Rogan could do 100-pound dumbbells just like this. So why the fuck can't he? He, he must know that he, if, if he can do it, he should know better. You can't curl it like that. Fucking, let's, let's put the press out of the question. Let's forget about the press. What about the curl? No, not even that. The transition. Well, that what too. Yeah, he's just like he's just like, he's just like this. And like he just like holds it. It's like I he's fucking know. driving a car with it. He's like hundred pound dumbbell, like no fucking big deal. Like the it's <sighs> it's possible the shoulder press. Nobody's saying it's not possible. It's possible, but all right? the effort is zero. Like this fucking is how you hey, do it. <laughs> like Greg Dissett would say, his effort is zero. His effort on doing that dumbbell press, zero. His effort on curling it, zero. Fucking zero. <laughs> Let's get back to what he's got to say. I like Frank's Country like, Store. I'll throw in a thousand dollars. That was the guy's dollars. name. Frank's Country Store, Newton. Newton. Uh, it was in uh, Newton. Uh, it wasn't Newton Upper Falls. Somewhere in Newton, Massachusetts. Newton Center. That's such a great Boston story where it's like the guy loses the team, we loses always, the wrestling match. We always match. talk about him because yeah. we'd go buy subs there because we'd walk there from school. Yeah. We'd buy subs from Frank. Like, that's yeah. the guy. He could curl his own body weight <laughs> 10 times. He was a tank. He's just a legend. He was yeah. just a, a fucking stacked little guinea. Right. Like this five foot yeah. seven guy who's like five foot seven wide. I don't mind people not liking Trump. It's weird when they're th like angry. Like I see Chris Cuomo a lot. Yeah. He's angry. They're angry. But isn't that his job? It shouldn't be. But it's entertainment. It, I like know. Tucker Carlson's okay. entertainment, yeah. he's entertainment on the other yeah. side. Yeah. But anyway, Tucker Carlson's been. All right, so then he just kind of talks about what the hell did he but just talk about? But he's a guinea. So he's, he's super strong because he's he, a fucking guinea. He basically went back to the guinea thing and then he kind of just went off topic and started talking about something else. 
Oh, he mentioned, you know... They mentioned the, the reporters and, I don't know, political stuff. All right, so anyways, what's your final thoughts? This is all bullshit. Like, really? Like, I this can't... is like Instagram hosts doing those little butt kicks. Like, yeah, gr like, grow a butt. Like, no, like, it's, this is all bullshit. Like, shut the fuck up. It's so fucking ridiculous. Go to sleep. Go educate yourself. <laughs> The fact that he said he can do it means he lifts weights, and I think he does lift weights. I think he's on TRT. I think he's mentioned it before that he's on TRT, so I think he lifts weights. I'm not 100% sure. So even he should know, but like I said, a brain-dead person should know that this is fake. I, I would say if you asked 1,000 people, 999 would say that this is fake. That's how fucking. That's how confident I am that. But hey, there are. But some... Joe Rogan is that one that thinks it's real. But because he's a guinea. You see, there what are. What the fuck? There are uneducated people that do not know about the fitness world, and like I'll talk about you know lifting weights or something. They're like, oh, that's not that heavy, and right. I'm like. I agree with that. There is. I'm there's like, a lot of. Dead lifting 300 pounds is not that heavy. Like, you go do it. <laughs> Well, it's not even that. Like, okay, I understand most ignorant people would not know. I shouldn't say ignorant. Most people that don't know about... They're not educated. They're not educated on lifting they weights and stuff. Know. I get it. That kind of stuff for shoulder pressing, okay. But how can anyone think 100 pounds like this? That effortlessly. That's common well, they, sense. That's they fucking don't your... Even know. That's just brain. That's your how straight up... brain? Because it is. Nobody in their right mind would ever think 100 pounds would move that effortlessly, no matter fucking what. I can't think of anybody that thinking that. whole video is just fake. I just, I can't believe we had to make a video about this. I just can't it believe be it. I literally think people that don't lift wouldn't know about the shoulder press. I would say that that, they, I don't think they would, they not would know. know in general. But the, they the would curling, look at it. 100 pound curl. But they would see, you know, he's a big guy. They'd be like, maybe, oh, he's a big maybe, guy, so it makes maybe, sense. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe, be, see, I'm, I might be um, oblivious to how people, how ignorant people are with people this kind are of just stuff. Not, but Joe you, Rogan lifts lift. weights. That's the thing. Well, the, yeah, that's the thing. And he's, he's a popular podcaster, and people listen to his shit, and yeah. they learn stuff. So he's out here. Telling everybody it's real yeah. and it's that's like, what that's no. what scares me. That scares me. There are gullible people out there. They you, will they will believe it. You know what? hundred percent. I would go on this. If you've been lifting for about a year or more, nobody would think that this is real. Zero. Zero people would think that this is real if you've been lifting for a year or more. I Even guarantee less. that. I guarantee that. Even less. I feel like... I just feel like maybe that would get you the knowledge to know. Like a year of lifting, you would know that that's fucking zero percent chance of it being real. But I, I would say you're right. The people off the street might be that oblivious or not knowledgeable on this kind of thing. I agree that that is a thing. Um, that's my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this where we react to things and kind of do like a comedy thing, comment down below, give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my channel. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Doesn't cost you a fucking penny. Check out her channel, check out her Instagram, check out everything. It'll be in the description box. Below. And um, all of her shit is in the description. S-A-R-A-R-E-J-N-O-K. -E -E all of my shit will be in the description. Comment down below. Share with your friends. And other than that, we'll, we'll check you guys later.